Hi, this is Votan, and I'm back. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about distractions. And distractions can come in all forms. They are, in my opinion, insidious because often distractions aren't really identified as such until you've digressed, until you have been dis distracted, until your attention has switched focus, um, and you're sort of off track. And distractions come in many different forms. So distractions to me would mean something that takes you away from what you're doing or what you want to do or what your goal is. And an example of that would be going to a dance club when you should be studying for an exam or going to a bar and getting drunk when you should be at home discussing the problems with someone or playing that video game when you should be doing something else it could be movies uh, books um, chatting on the phone or in person um, it could be writing um, it could be shopping it could be traveling it could be um, exercising or learning a skill um, all of these things are fine by themselves none of them are a problem it's when they are used as a distraction that becomes a problem and of course I, I didn't mention any of the vices gambling uh, pornography drugs, um, music maybe, it's not really a vice, but I guess um, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, as they say. Um, some things I guess you could argue that would be bad by themselves, but in general overall, things that you choose to do are not necessarily wrong. And I'm not really gonna get into instances when they're fine I just want to focus on distractions and why they are problematic if you allow yourself to get distracted and of course I'm going to use myself as an example because um, this is where I see it uh, taking its hold on me I sort of had many different, not really vices, but habits that I would, I would um, do all sorts of different things that over the years I have had to relinquish myself from, let go one at a time. Um, once you're habituated into doing something, it's hard to let it go, it's hard to allow yourself to to move on especially when you um, pick up something that you think will be fun or if, if you have friends that are doing it um, and they're still into it but you want to move on you want to do something else they will maybe suck you back into it or they may not understand and they may pressure you to do it or, you know, you may lose some friends along the way. Um, I had um, different types of games that I would play and activities that I would do with friends. But 
over the years, I found that those activities were taking away from other pursuits that I wanted to do. Um, certain types of television programs that I wanted to watch were taking up a lot of my time. Um, video games, you know, which I haven't played at least for five years. Number, it's been a while. Um, those were a big distraction for me. Um, and basically it, it preempts anything else that I would like to do. It's sort of like the default. Um, you don't know what to do, so you just go to that. Or um, when you should be doing something else, like there was a book that I wanted to be reading, but instead I'd be watching that movie or I'd be going off um, doing something with someone. And um, hence I would have a pile of books that never got read. Or I needed to brush up on some technical skills. And these skills were left um, pretty much as they were and they weren't brushed up on because I was too busy entertaining myself. And there are a lot of instances like these that I've noticed are tantamount to distracting me. Um, and so over the years I've been slowly eliminating one by one these distractions. But I find, like what my mom has said, water always finds its level so let's say i had five different things that distracted me from doing something that i wanted to do i eliminated one of them then i have four distractions left or four types of distractions they would sort of fill up to take up the rest of my time so that I, in fact, wasn't really gaining any free time, I wasn't gaining any extra leeway um, for doing the other thing that I wanted to do. Now, there may be a short window in between the time that I decided to give up whatever that distraction was, whatever that, um, that habit was that I wanted to get rid of. Once I got rid of that, suddenly I had some free time and I was able to um, do this other thing that I wanted to do, but as distractions are distractions, the other four um, took over, and then I found out I had just as little time as I did before. I had less distractions, technically, but the distractions were still as distracting. Um, and so I found that um, time after time, each time I would lose one, something else would sort of fill in to take its place. At least for me, this is, may not be for everyone. Somebody who's maybe very disciplined and very organized with their time can really set limits for themselves. Um, I'm disciplined in some ways, but um, in this way, I'll usually, if I'm given a choice, I'll usually go for the one that's more fun. Not necessarily the one that's more beneficial or the thing that I probably need to do more. Um, I'll wait until the deadline, as I tend to be a procrastinator also. Um, but the key for me has been to eliminate all of my distractions. And that may sound drastic, it may sound um, a little bit intense, difficult, and it was and it took time. Uh, like I, I mentioned a few of the distractions that I let go. Um, I let go of music way back a uh, number of years ago, um, especially certain types of music. Um, 
television programs. The most recent one was movies, which I haven't uh, watched. I've watched only one movie in the past nine months. That's been a big one for me. I never thought I'd be able to let go of movies. I haven't fully let go of them. I'm allowing myself to watch them maybe sometime in the future, but for now, um, it's kind of a has to be an all or nothing because once I do it once, it's kind of like a gateway drug. I want to keep doing it. So I just have to be strict with myself, at least for right now. Um, and then probably the biggest distraction for me has been the computer. People ask me, how can you spend so many hours on the computer? What do you do on it? And I sort of wonder myself, um, research, read, email, um, checking stuff out. I tend to be a thorough person. And so when I find out some information, I don't just look at one source. I go through many different sources and try to see what different people say about different things so I can make my own informed decision if I don't know much about that. And I like um, gathering stuff for other people. So, and I have a slow computer, so everything that I do takes time. And so, yeah, I have a lot of seemingly legitimate excuses, but the reality is I do spend too much time on the computer. And surprisingly, for the past couple of weeks, I have been able to slowly let it go as well. Or I should say, uh, minimize the time that I'm on it. There are some days where I don't even turn on my computer. That For me, that's um, mind-blowing. Since I was junior high school or whatever, I've had a computer and uh, I've used it every day. So I still have a cell phone and I could check it, but I've recently turned off my news apps, so I'm not getting any alerts and uh, I don't really check my email on my cell phone, my smartphone. So I just have it there in case I get a text message, which is relatively rare, or a phone call, which is even rarer. Um, so the computer has been a big win for me. I have a lot more time back. Um, I also found that the computer um, kind of draws me in. I think I'm only going to be on there for a short amount of time. And I find it like somehow it's, it's like a time warp whenever I go on it. I don't know where the time goes. Especially late at night, it's like I don't even feel like I'm tired when I'm on it. It's like it artificially is keeping me awake and I can stay on it pretty late. And then I get to bed late and then my my sleep is interrupted and the next morning I don't feel so good. So it's good for me to get to bed early, but it's hard for me to do that when I use the computer. So if I'm reading or if I'm writing, um, if I'm just doing something that is not on the computer, then naturally I feel tired at a regular hour. So, um, that's a compounded, dis the computer is a compounded distraction for me. So by letting that go, I gain much more than time. So I've, at the moment, I've let go of almost all of my distractions. Um, say, you know, going to a desert island, I mean, I still go out once in a while. Like this evening, I went out with a friend um, to a restaurant, but that's very rare for me. I don't really go out to eat very often. Um, I do have to check email now and then. Um, go to the library, check out books, return books. Um, I have a part-time job, so I work once in a while. So, and then of course I do what I wanna do. Um, when I talk about distractions, I'm talking about stopping things that stop me from doing what I want to do. And what I want to do at this moment is self-discovery, spiritual evolution. Um, 
improving my own sense and um, brain capabilities. And I know for myself that it's hard for me to multitask. And, and this kind of work is not very easy. It's actually hard work. It's almost like it's, it's been feeling like it's been a full-time job for me just because there's so much to do. Um, and so by eliminating these distractions, I finally have time for what I want to do. One of the things that inspired me several years back was hearing that Joseph Campbell, the author of the book called Hero of a Thousand Faces and The Hero's Journey, I believe, um, locked himself in a country villa or house somewhere and just studied and read and cultivated his ideas for five years. I, I don't really know if that's true, but that story was very inspiring to me to know that you can do that. To really make deep fundamental changes requires a lot of work on oneself. And I'm committed to doing that for myself. And for me, what was always stopping me was a little bit of this, a little bit of that, um, having fun, um, doing a whole bunch of stuff that, when I look back, ultimately had no meaning. It didn't get me anywhere. I didn't learn really anything from it. It was fun at the time, but it ended up being simple entertainment. Of course, you know, I did some things, you know, you go to a museum or you have a good discussion and you get some seeming um, intellectual um, value out of it. But at a deep fundamental level, there was nothing, it, was, it wasn't food for that. It was, it was just um, intellectual fun um, and entertainment. And um, yeah, I mean, that is what is accepted in our mainstream society and I'm not trying to say anything bad about it, but for what I want to do at the moment is not that. And so eliminating um, distractions has been the key for me to be able to do this work that I wanted to do, to um, work on myself, to have this time to do this deep work. And so hopefully this perspective will help somebody else make these tough decisions in, in their life. Um, perhaps you can um, start eliminating some distractions that you have, no matter what that is, um, and try to figure out what it is that you want to do and what's keeping you from doing that. Like maybe for some people it would be doing some sort of art or learning how to play a musical instrument, but you just find you don't have a lot of time. Life is about making choices and it comes down to how much do you want to do it. You, if there's something that you really want to do but you don't have time to do it, then you just need to figure out what it is that you want to make um, cuts on. Um, what, it, what is a lower priority and start dropping that out of, the, out of your life or start minimizing the time that you spend doing that and do something that will have lasting meaning for you and something that you will look back on over the years and time and say, you know, I'm glad I did that and I have something to show for it and uh, even if it's just an experience, eliminating distractions, I believe, is key to that. So hopefully my minimal success in this is hopefully translatable to you to potential success in the future also. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.